just getting sitting nice and comfortable in the seat here. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we've had a look at gear shifting and using the gear shift efficiently, coming to intersections and small intersections in back streets where we know we're not going to be there for a long time, uh, or three point turns, etc., when we know we're not going to be there for a long time. Now we're going to look at the situation where we're going to be coming to traffic lights. Uh, that we need the car under good control as we are arriving at the lights in case we then need to move immediately. And then we might actually realize we're going to spend some time there. And so we would then shift and rest in neutral um, and then get ready and then go again. So we're still looking at what would be a short stop at a set of traffic lights, but how it looks if we, then, if we uh, are going to be resting for a period of time and then proceeding on. All right, so <coughs> we're gonna head out into the road, just getting comfortable in the seat here. A lot of traffic coming this way, so we're just gonna wait for a break. Break will be soon. So the set of traffic lights up there, we plan to go straight. It is red. <clears throat> we are going to be stopping. And you know, as usual, we've seen what's behind us, see what's going on that well back. We're braking, coming to a stop. Car's still in the higher gear. Just before idle speed, clutch down, come to a stop so that I'm ready to move immediately in case the car behind me doesn't stop. So I'd be able to move up just a fraction, give us another little bit of distance if he's struggling to stop. Or if the lights changed immediately, I'd be ready to move immediately. Um, I've recognized the cars could roll here. So if we had to move now, we would be handbrake on. I've also recognized we're gonna be here for a while. Um, so I've got over my initial need to perhaps move immediately. I'm gonna be here for a while. So I'm putting the handbrake on. I'm gonna put it into neutral. I'm gonna bring the clutch up, and I'm gonna rest my leg, I'm gonna rest the gear and clutch mechanism, um, and I'm sitting here waiting for the lights to go green for us. As they do, I'm two or three cars back, so I've still got a bit of warning into first, and let's go. Cool, continuing on. So what we'll do now is we'll actually sort of go do a little run around the block, and we'll come back to the lights and just look at that again. A little bit of a slow to the speed, clutch up, then drive it round the corner situation there. end here we're going to turn right and we'll look again at that short stop we do have a vehicle well behind us but this is the short stop at an intersection where it doesn't have traffic lights we're good car's going to roll forward don't even need the handbrake away we go i know i said we'd be doing traffic lights this one now there's a child down there near the road, I am slowing back. I am being fully aware that kids could come out in the road. Down here we're gonna turn right. So a little commentary drive tip there. Forget what you're doing and talk about the important stuff. Taxi's reversing here. He thinks he's gonna take this road. T junction. Ready to give way at the end. Clear and safe. Rolling through. Second gear. Down the end, turning right. Car floats forward. Car will roll forward. No need for the handbrake.
traffic lights, expecting to stop. They went yellow. I'm going to pick the straight ahead lane. Slowing. We're now going to be definitely there for a while, but in the first instance, we've got a four wheel drive behind us, braking, clutch down as we stop first. Because what if the four wheel drive needs me to move forward another couple of meters because he's not stopping? What if the lights change as we immediately got there? Now, we're going to be here a while. The car also will definitely roll back at this point, so we're going handbrake. Other people have started moving. We didn't get a green light on the, you know, immediately, so I'm now going to come down and rest. But I'm here at the front row of a set of lights. I no longer have going to have any warning when everyone's starting to move off before me. So I'm being quite mindful of when our turn to to go will be. So lots of through traffic, lots of through traffic. A lot of cars banked up over there. We stopped, the through traffic's going there. So then those vehicles over there will be going next. I know enough about this intersection to know that's how that'll be happening. Meanwhile, I'm resting, I'm resting in neutral. So I was in first, and now I've come back and sat to rest in neutral. Those guys are starting to turn. The turners are going. I'm just going to start to get ready because I'm actually not sure who goes next out of us in that group. And I know that it won't be very long anyway, even if it is us. That's Even if it's not us straight away. So those guys are there. Okay. So a little bit of power. It'll be us next. Yep, and it's clear it's safe and go. Just slowing. Guy in front's likely to stop. Guy in front's likely to push by. Just checking no one's coming by there. And then heading down here, we will uh, turn right soon and we'll stop and turn the camera off. Right, signaling, slowing the person behind us, continuing to slow the person behind us, peaking the gap, first gear still rolling forward, don't need handbrake, and change. So, hopefully, that's just a bit helpful, particularly around the traffic lights but also seeing that little bit of a difference between you know, how we might use this at the traffic lights compared to how we might use this just at small back street intersections compared to how we might use this if we're going to park the car like now and then shut down.